Yo, what is up, guys? I'm Philly Gaming. As we come to the conclusion of Amethyst Beth Phoenix, you can see that we've almost that we almost had finished her in the match. Unfortunately, we lost against the Oscar, but we did get a bunch of progress in in that be in that time and space. So we have eleven more dive attacks. We have 11 more attacks to do on the grounded opponent and we just have to build the finishers up to three and hit all three of them and then that's done and then so next match we will literally have um amethyst beth phoenix so let's see um sure let's let's take on a Sasha Banks. I think we picked Sasha Banks. So yeah. Take on Sasha Banks in a Sasha Banks fight. And just get her amethyst and Becky in against Sasha Banks. So eleven dive attacks, eleven attacks on a grounded opponent. Easy enough. She has the Hall of Fame ring to prove it. Oh, absolutely, Michael. Strength, power. Beth Phoenix has got both in spades. And tonight, she only has one goal in mind. Crush the competition. Definitely a goal we know she can achieve. Another nine. And with Sasha Banks, she had, well, oh. she had the boss. She's no, that's, to being at the top of the that's just a daily challenge that popped up. Unfortunately, it's not what, not what we were looking for. Even if it means stabbing someone in the back, Saxton. Ah. Uh. Anything to win to remain the self-proclaimed boss of WWE, so you gotta watch out for that. Yeah, but she needs to maintain some offense to fully get back in this one. Guys, the boss is in bad shape here. The Glamazon cannot be stopped right now. From the top. Are you kidding me? To the sky. Great elevation. Taking a chance one more time and landing with incredible. She's dive attack on her while she's on the grind. She shoots up the top rope. Dangerous thinking. We will probably try to go finish the um try to get the Ruby Finn Baller so we can get those um token market tokens and get the get the tokens that are required for the things. So we got to get those finishers, get the three finishers, and we got to do the dive attack, or not the grind attacks on the opponent. Okay, there's, so there's them done, guys. So, I'm at this, Beth Phoenix will happen in this match. I just got to beat her up a bunch. Just got to beat Sasha Banks up a bunch to, to get that finisher bar built up. So we gotta do 15, we gotta do 15 more, we gotta do 15 more tried tons to get those three token market tokens, so, we'll do that, boom, okay, so, hit the signature, let go of it, Pick up Sasha, and I let's hit, try to hit the three finishers, and hope that Sasha Banks doesn't reverse any of them. So, 
I'm just done, so we're gonna get all these three finishers hit. I'm gonna get Amethyst, Beth Phoenix after this match is over. So that so that's 14. Hopefully she doesn't reverse this or try to kick out of it. Boom! Amethyst, Beth Phoenix. Let's go. As we So we can finish the match now that Amethyst Beth Phoenix has been acquired. But these daily challenges are are very good because I don't really do them that much because they keep changing before I get a chance to. So let's. Oh, sugar. Uh oh. No, you don't, Sasha Banks. Kaboom! Kick that. Oh. A gut buster? Why is she still boasting around? She's in a fight for goodness sake. This is not the time to be diverting attention to five more tried tons. And then the message will oh, pop, then we'll finish the match. And then we go do the, then we go win the two proven ground matches. Boom. So let's pin Sasha. One, two, three. And the match is over. We've now got Amethyst. Yeah. So yeah guys, we've done all the all the missions we've done the uh, daily we've done the crowd tons we finished all the all the objectives on Beth Phoenix and the Batista challenge is almost there too and we got five challenges so 165 MF we got the daily so plus extra 50 we got the three tokens, we got the challenge completed, and Amethyst Beth Phoenix goes up to an eighty up to an eighty five. So she gets a plus so she got a plus five to her rating, so let's go check that out. So yeah, she's she's up there in the eighty in the eighty fives. So here she is. Ruby Beth Phoenix and her I think her badges have I think her badges have improved as well so yeah that's pretty good now we just need to work on Ronda Rousey but first the first order of business was to get um Let's um, get Amethyst Beth Phoenix. So let's try to get the rest of these tokens. So who do we want? Uh, I guess. Uh, hmm. Simple enough. Oh yeah, the eight man. Eight man ladder match that I only did on that I only that I only did on hard difficulty. I think uh I think that's a two v two I think that's a two v two one. Uh Tony Tony Storm.
So we gotta win two matches, we gotta get So we need to get the two tokens and those are in the ladder those are in ladder matches. I guess we'll use Roman Reigns to take on Finn Balor. I could have picked Go I could have picked Goldberg, but I think that's a bit too easy. Phew. A submission match can bring serious risk of injury since victory is achieved by making your opponent submit. Is that a factor when competing? That's always in the back of your mind, and especially when your opponent continues to attack a specific body part. Well, a submission move does so much damage that a competitor can suffer a permanent injury to a body part that's been targeted. Series of reversals. in a submission match. Sure, there's no rope breaks, but they're still handy for making escapes or adding extra torque to an attack. That's great advice, Corey. Smart positioning could be what decides the match. Oh, kick to the face. Oh, perfect kick. Great counter. Ah, ooh, the forearm connects. Lined him up, boom, knock him down, ouch. So when we win the two Proven Grounds matches, we will also get, so we'll get six tokens, six token market tokens. Let's check the match actions. One more grab attack and then and then signature or a finisher.
They're probably going to lose this one, but I hope not. Nobody would can make Finn Balor top eight. Okay, we did it. And now we got two, two and I, oh, so we're getting MF. My faction points for successfully, for successfully winning two Proven Grounds matches. But at least we got the free at least we got the three tokens there in that department for whoever it is. Oh, oh yeah, Jordan Davlin. I guess we'll use Bailey from the Fate Fables. And this eight woman over the top rope match. So we got to get Carmella out. Ember Moon is coming after us. Turns the favor there. 
superstar is here. Oh, brutal form. He is just desperately trying to fight out. So we still need to get 30 points, guys. So we need to get a torso to red, and we need to do heavy and gravitas, but we don't have to do all of them. We're reaching a point where these superstars must be hurt, must be vulnerable. And who's gonna find a way to capitalize on that vulnerability? Big time spine bump. Could lead to a big time win. And Raquel keeping the impressions high. Yeah, Raquel continues to keep her intimidating presence a factor in this match. Now we gotta get those. Just get the body to red, do grab, grab attacks. And avoid getting wrecked. So now we can just throw her out and hope for the best that she goes out. Boom. We did it.
are so close to getting uh, Tony Storm. So yeah, we have to go through all this and hope that we actually get that we get once we get all the points that we need that it that it gives us the cards because if the cards are have been are still glitched after after almost a year well if they're still glitched since March well then that's gonna be an issue because you'll never get all the get all the way up there so we're currently in chapter three right now we ha we've almost got Lacey Evans we just have to do that um just have to do the handicap match we just have to get the two get the get those two tokens by beating John Cena and Nakamura in the handicap match which which is a which is doable it's just very hard to do kind of whenever whenever they both gang up on you so and like the whole player switch doesn't always work so we almost won the ladder match we have to get past this eight woman ladder match then we have to do another Ah, so there's the last woman standing match there, guys. So, there's the last woman standing match in Proving Grounds. So, if you ever have to do that dive, dive and attack stuff to ground opponents, make sure you get the match six in, uh, in chapter three, and then you'll be able to do, do that against Charlotte. So, yeah. Um, we are in, we are still trying to get this, that Amethyst. Roman Reigns, so he will be able to go into the main faction, so that will be an upgrade to the Ruby one that we have. Unfortunately, I cannot see any of the rewards in this right now until I get past how many matches do I have left. So, I've completed three. I have, yeah, I still have this, I still have these two sections to go before I can get into the before I get into these, before I get into this diamond section, into chapter four and chapter five, so if I don't, if I don't show you guys the progress after I do the ladder match, the all the eight woman ladder match, well then you guys will probably see when we're down here at Sasha Banks because it could take a while to to get through this section here. We do have a bit of a grind to go. We've almost got Jim the Night, Jim the Night Heart. But guys, the road to Diamond is still upon us. So as we, we may not, we haven't been flying through this, even though the game's been out since March. Because I've watched videos on YouTube of my faction, and people are like. No, there's nothing to do when you get when you get up the top and all and like they're just crying and stuff. Well, luckily for me, like I've been taking my time 